This is one of the few occasions that Thomas Mofu has power during the day. Due to intensified load shedding, there are blackouts in his neighborhood five days a week, with power only returning late in the night. Unfortunately, there's no schedule for the power cuts, so I never know when there will be power, which means I can't plan. Mofu has resorted to using a generator. Before I start any job, I have to agree with the client if they can pay for the diesel fuel. Not all his clients are willing to bear the extra burden, which means fewer orders. The additional costs are affecting both small and large businesses. I've been talking to a lot of business people. Uh, they're saying that it's not sustainable to be running a business uh, on or using a generator. The drought-induced power shortages will continue to hamper industrial growth. Already capacity utilization was already going down. Um, 2023, there was a decline from 2022, and we're projecting that same declining trend even for 2024. So obviously that's going to have a knock-on impact on overall growth, uh, the economic outlook uh, for this year. The government is expected to make a similar review in the midterm fiscal statement as pressure from drought and softening commodity prices take their toll. Water levels at Kariba will only start improving early next year, which means the current power challenges being experienced by businesses will persist till then.